Yo, everybody. Welcome to episode... Uh... 11? This is episode 11, right? As you can see, you can use your new ground pound technique to gain a little bit of extra air before you plummet down and get some out-of-reach Scooby Snacks. But it's also used for stuff like this. Boom! Ground pounding on monsters. Now, why would you ever want to ground pound on a monster? You can do stuff like that to them. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. But you get your double jump back, so it can be used to, like, make it across, I guess, pits or something. I don't know. I don't think this is a practical use for... There's no monster hopping areas in this game. That'd be pretty cool, but... My first time recording this, this area hated me. And it is possible to get the cavemen to follow you off the edge, like, or onto the bridges, and then when the bridges collapse, have them in the water. I, I did that all the time when I was in, like, kindergarten. Although, I don't know why I missed. I missed! Okay, made it back. And... What do, what'd that do? What did that button do for me? Um, did that do anything at all? Did that do anything at all for me? I don't think it did. Okay, that was a waste of time. If we go back here, there is a um, snack gate here, which don't hit it now. Just get the snacks there, then leave. You don't need to go into there until much later in the game, but you can actually get there from Shock on the Dock Part 2. For free! Just will cost you your life. You will die and lose all your uh, dog tags on your name. I'm just gonna call them hearts because I've been playing Zelda recently. Anyway, it just brings you to here. Creepy crawlies in the hallways. And you need to go to part three later in the game to get the plunger invention. However, the plunger invention will actually not appear there until after you've gone through at, at least this area. I believe it might actually be up to here, or up to here. You need it right here, I think. You can't progress further without the plunger. So they give you access to it early on in the game. You get confused. Like, when I was first playing this, I had no idea where... I tried to go in there, and I came up to a dead end, and it was a really creepy area of the game. I really don't want to go in there. <laughs> and so... And I wasted Scooby Sands, because I didn't know about the freeway in yet. But, anyway. What you're supposed to do, and I'll show you, is... Nah, I'll show you. I don't feel like telling you. Um, Float up this pipe to a one-way shortcut outside Mystic Mountain. You can get up here with the umbrella invention, which allows you to ride air currents, or it's possible to jump up here in some way, shape, or form. I've done it before. Um, don't think the game's going to cooperate with me now, and I really don't want it to just come back here and then cut the video like I did the last secret sh secret passage. So I took secret shortcut. I suppose that kind of makes sense. Enter the door, Scooby. Yeah. Now we're back and going down which way? Up here. And you could go to here to Lighthouse Fright House Part 3, which for some reason isn't attached to the two earlier parts, but there's no reason to because it's just a dead end for getting Scooby Snacks. I'll be going there later in the game when I'm going for every Scooby Snack, but right now I'm focusing on just, you know, getting to the end. All snacks collected. If you ground pounding is stuck down there, you will not die, so you have to quit and go back to your most recent save. Anyway, the area in the game we're going to now, and this took me forever to figure out. Back in the hedge maze. Chills and Spells on Haunted Hill, Part 3. The area where we got the helmet. Look familiar? Oh, here it is. It's the mountain. Now, we don't need to go up the mountain, I'm just here to show you that. And there's an area back there that looks like I should... Uh, it looks like... Um, let me turn the camera around. Looks like a platforming area back there. It looks pretty far and fun, but I don't think you ever actually get to cover. Or, well, I mean, I know you don't, it's just a background. But there's no area in the game that I can remember off the top of my head that resembles that. Anyway, you grab pound this random box of soap on the ground. It looks kind of like soap to me. And go through the door, because... Hitting the switch opens the gate, and an area you probably don't remember, even if you did remember the area, you probably won't remember that switch specifically, so how the hell are you supposed to figure that out as a kid? Now, here, you can tell from the boring music, it's a boring area. 
Scared Stiff at Skull Cliff is really long. Each of the four parts are pretty darn long, and... Caveman! I do know a shortcut for this part, but I'll show you at the end. Or, yeah, yeah, I guess when I'm done with this room. Yeah, at the end isn't like, you know, the end of the video or anything. <coughs> if you go through here, you notice, hey, I can't go anywhere, this thingy ain't moving. Well, that's because the exit's through there, and you have to solve a puzzle, or what's, I guess, supposed to be a puzzle? I don't know, it's not very hard. You push this button, and you can now jump across here. Oh, I missed. Got one, yes. Now that you're over here, what do you think you have to do? Ow. Getting beaten by a caveman's bat was your answer, then you are incorrect. However, if you said find another switch and push it, then you are correct, sir. Pass go and collect $200. I have no idea what I'm saying anymore, because it's been a long day, and... Back to school night saying, oh, my parents gotta meet my teachers, and... All my parents have to meet my teachers. Yeah. Makes perfect sense, because I have many, many parents. All my... Again, I just... My parents have to meet all my teachers. I'm totally not dyslexic, because that's about reading, and I just can't speak. And I usually can speak, too, when I'm not, you know, talking to a microphone. And I'm making movies with friends or just plain talking to friends. I speak a lot better than this, I think. I don't know. I do screw up what I say pretty often. That's because I think so darn f fast. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't very quick thinking there. I kind of actually zoned out in the middle of what I was saying. And that's something that'll happen to me, too. I usually will either think incredibly quickly or zone out randomly. It, it, Damn it. Well, since I died, I guess I'll show you the uh, shortcut I mentioned earlier. This is for all the people who don't want to do this area, or this room, I guess I should say, because it's kind of boring, and would rather just take a shortcut and don't care about losing the Scooby Snacks. That's all you do. Hit circle as you're dying, and go into the area. But I'm going to go back quickly to... Get the boxes, or not box, get the individual Scooby Snacks I missed. Not a box. I would like to have multiple boxes of Scooby Snacks there, but I know that ain't gonna happen. Oh, now this thing's turned on magically. It does turn off when you die, so that's kind of why I did the shortcut instead of, you know, redoing the whole area. Anyway, Scared Stiff at Skull Cliff Part 2. Run, crab. <sighs> This area has more of those sea creature monsters, and in fact, that's where I first found out about them. Watching the screensavers for this game, because I totally have a life. And I'm just gonna get those Scooby Snacks now. Anyway, in this uh, screensaver for the game, just, you know, wait on the press start screen and don't push any buttons for a while. It'll play like a random area from the game for you. Anyway, the S Scooby playing this um, screensaver demo thing doesn't actually hit any of the sea monsters, leading me to believe, as a young kindergartner, they were invincible, which made me incredibly terrified of fishy clues from Scooby-Doo. Although, by the time I got into this area, I realized you can kill them. Just takes two hits. Yeah. Also, the guy in that demo is really cheap. He has all the items in their, like, but he doesn't actually have any of the Scooby snacks, so he obviously didn't go through the areas. It was... Well, pretty obviously just a uh, programmer or somebody, but it should have made it look more authentic. Scared Sip at Skull Cliff Part 3. Now, like, eh, Part 2 wasn't that long, Ben, you're just exaggerating, and you could get through Part 1 really easily. Well, no, this area is pretty long, and Part 4 is ridiculous. <sighs> this area is not one of my favorites in the game, because I tend to die a lot in Skull Cliff, and yeah. a lot of these annoying trampoline things ever. Why do they even have those? Why can't they just have, you know, a wood bridge or something? Anyway, you can't get past there until you have the umbrella. I don't feel like dying to get those Scooby Snacks. Oh, don't, don't leave without me. And I can't see the screen, like, at all now. This is ridiculous. But down there is a couple Scooby Snacks I can't get now, or I technically could get now, but there's no point in doing that. I can't actually get to the button, and I can easily get them later. Anyway, they're gonna want to go across... Don't! Why would you attempt to leave without me like that? No, don't... Okay, I'm not good at planning, obviously. 
Um, <laughs> I'll just go back across then, might as well. And I'm kind of rambling on to myself, I'm sure you're not knowing what I'm talking about, because I'm not actually speaking my entire mind, because if I were, I'd... Again, same thing happened. Thinking too fast and can't actually speak my mind in how how speak my mind in time, because I think No, are you kidding I didn't make it up there? This is a problem I have. I do think much faster than I can possibly talk. But only like specific things. When I have to do math, I well I have to do a hunter's pre trig at like seven thirty in the morning, I think really slow then. But there we go. Up here. There are actually two random crabs underneath this area. Like, underneath these specific rocks, I don't know why they would be there, and... Pushy button! Did that do anything for me? Did that do... What would it do? Um... Oh, you can hear the crab, or you could hear it briefly. What did it do? And I'm going to... Okay, everyone, I'm finally back. I'm... Uh, I had to go all the way back through fishy clues for Scooby-Doo Part 1. Because I hadn't saved the game since then. Uh, I... I... I'm, uh, well, I feel like a complete idiot now. Um, I... I pop, dude, I also can't speak. I greatly apologize. I probably have a different number of Scooby Snacks now than I did before because on my way back I was being kind of sloppy and not really caring about which Scooby Snacks I already got and which ones I didn't. I mean, I, I kind of tried to get all the ones I thought I would have gotten. I, you know, everyone I could see and could think of a way to get to. I may have a different number though. I'm sorry if I do. Oh, okay. Now we're at. Scarcif on Skull Cliff Part 4, and this place is huge. Like, this place is really huge. Yeah. Sorry, my. I'm probably not gonna have the most lively commentary right now because, you know, I just had to go back through that entire segment. I'm gonna say that's about fifth of the game I just had to go through. Ow. Ow, well, and I'm gonna die. I am about to die. So, yeah, I'm not really in a good mood right now, because I had to just go back through all that, and uh, when I'm done with this, I gotta start studying the periodic table of elements for chemistry. Oh, whoa, whoa! Okay, I died. That That's wonderful. And, oh boy. Pushing that button, I guess, moves this for you. Um, yeah. Okay, now I'm back here. So, if you, it's just really, there's two different routes you could take to get down here. Um, I'd recommend you go the second way, because that one's quicker, unless you're playing for all Scooby Snacks. Sorry for the brief interruption there. Um, yeah, I'd recommend you take the lower route, unless you're going for all Scooby Snacks like I am. What's with all these monsters and boxes? Okay, so yeah, this area. Whoa. This area will take a long time to get through. There's actually three separate checkpoints in this one room because if you died at the end and got sent back to the beginning, that'd be pretty awful. See how big it is? It keeps going on past here, too. Don't want to leave without me. Oh. Uh, after going through fishy clues for Scooby Doo, this would be like the third time I had to do that now. Uh, I never want to go through that area again. I'm gonna have to get the Scooby Snacks. I still didn't get there when I, you know, get every single Scooby Snacks. That's my goal for this game. I'm a completionist, and I don't say the game's done until you have everything. I mean, I got every damn Sculptula in Ocarina of Time. Now, of course, I didn't do that till this past summer, but I still did it. 
Actually, now I think about it, I haven't really 100%ed any other Zelda game, except I th Nah, I didn't. I've actually not beaten the majority of them either. Like, I beat the first one, um, I beat Phantom Hourglass, I beat Ocarina of Time, and... I beat Skyward Sword. <laughs> That's it. Okay, well Zelda's kinda off topic here, I'm playing Scooby-Doo now. This was, you know, a game from when I was a kid. When, when I was a kid, I actually thought Zelda was the stupid game series, because all I'd played was Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, and I thought it was ridiculously difficult and not fun at all. It's like, why would anyone ever want to play this game? Me, 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 me. Yeah. If you push that button, you can now go down here, and don't take too long, because the water level will rise back up and could, you know, kill you. By could, I mean will kill me, because there's, yeah, right here. Don't forget about this. The previous two times I did this part, I completely skipped there. Or the previous one, I only did this one time. Yeah. What am I talking about? Previous two times. And now that you got all the Scooby Snacks, you can try going back while the water level's still down, which I'm going to do. And you can now hear the waterfalls back on. It's starting to rise again. Not sure why they'd have a button that shuts off the waterfall. Oh, another waterfall pump. And you see that random white aura. That water, that was quick. I realize it says you like, you know, the waterfall dust, I guess, or, you know, the sprays of water, but it, it was completely misplaced. Yeah. Oh, now we get to go through here, and I'm going to end off this episode here, so see you guys later.